Yo YouTube, how you doing? This is Puck. Today uh, we're gonna test out Windows 8.1 on my tablet. Uh, it's running Android at this moment. It's the... You know, what kind of tablet is it? It's the Fusonic. The Fusonic Darlington Fupet 10. It's the... Um, bu -bu 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 it's the Fupet 10. This thing also... Um, this thing also uh, is like... The same as the TG, T, TGFA tablet, the TGAV. I think it's the same because um, this thing is a very, very, very special tablet. This tablet of few Sonic people, it was not a cheap one. This thing was was the competitor of the iPad 2. So means, you know, it has capacitive screen, it has glass, it has two USB ports, it has two processors, two, two Anthem processors. You know, this thing is a dual core, it can run Windows, it can run Mac OS X. Yeah, no jokes, man. Check out my world, world first uh, 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 Mac tablet. It's on there, on YouTube. Check out my list, man. All working, even the touch screen working, well, in some way. And uh, it also runs Linux. This was also the first uh, Linux laptop tablet showing uh, Mint Linux, you know, running on a tablet. It was the first Linux tablet that showed itself on uh, YouTube, you know, when there was no Linux tablet, you know, on the internet. This thing, you know, run as the first one proudly Mint Linux. I think it was version 12. At that time and you know touch screen was working everything was working so today we're gonna install Windows 8 so get ready to do that um, what you need of course is a little USB stick with the files on it and uh, I just had it with me but now it's it's gone I don't see it so I'm gonna try to find that stick and when I found it I'll get back to you okay the tools that you need to install Windows or any operating system on a tablet like this because you see it has no DVD ROM It has no DVD drive, so you cannot put in a DVD So you're like scratching your head. How am I gonna install it? Well, you need a USB stick with a bootable uh, Operating system that the thing can boot from and that you can install it. So how to do that? Well, you must download the ISO file or maybe you have the ISO file already, you have it on the CD. Then with Power ISO, you must check out in my list how to create the USB uh, bootable Windows 8 uh, USB stick. Check it out and then you will find my video and when you found it, you know, you will know how to create a USB bootable Windows 8 stick. So when you created that, then you're gonna stick it into the machine. And now we're gonna make a little trip because I'm gonna bring you from there to the machine so you can see the complete install how to install Windows 8 on a tablet running Android but listen you guys don't come and ask me if this can run on some cheap Android tablet that you bought because no it's not possible this can only run if this thing has an x86 structure means you know, if the thing can run Windows, if it can run, run MS-DOS, you can try a thing like this. If not, you know, don't even go, because it won't work. Alright, so let's jump into the baby and do it. We'll go into the BIOS, Dell. And then, uh, what was the password? I forgot. I think I forgot. Okay, we are in the bias. So, I hope you can see anything. Because this is important, what we're gonna do now. We're gonna tell the baby, yeah, to boot from the thing and here on top you should be able to see my god this is such a such an ugly ugly recording 
all these screens you know showing all this shiny shiny nonsense okay what we do we must go into the boot and in the boot we go to hard disk hard disk drives and then you can see the USB drive up there hope you can see it my god I hope you can see it see that that's the USB Lexa drive and we're gonna tell it to go up and to put it up you know you must uh, let me see what should we here you can see what you must do yeah just uh, arrow up oh, what was it uh, plus so you see that now it's on top see that here now it's the first drive the second drive is the SATA and the first drive is the Lexa Sorry for this view, but I cannot do better than that. And then you just hit F10 and then you hit OK. So now, beside my head, if it's good, then you will also see something else. So now it's gonna boot from the stick. And there we go, Windows is being started up. So this looks much better. So what we're actually doing now, we're booting from the USB stick. And we're going to do an install. This install uh, will also support your uh, your, uh, your touch screen. So don't worry about that. I'm going to make it a little bit darker here. Because you see a lot of reflection is coming into the black black screen. Very annoying. You know that's why I like these these cheap these cheap uh, screens better because you can film it so much nicer. You know these things are giving so much back reflection. Okay, uh, Netherland, Netherland, Netherland. Uh, bloody bloody blah. We hit next and we say install now. But we have to prepare. We have to prepare the drives. Setup is being started, and sorry for the blur of my cam. You know, it's a Korean cam, you know. Just kidding, you Okay, here you can see that we can um, select various versions, and this is um, I see Windows 8.1. Pro N, uh, Dutch means means Dutch, I think. And Windows 8.1, Windows 8.2. Oh yeah, okay. Here you can see that it's for x86 and x64. So for 32 bit and for 64 bit, we have installation files here. Okay, we go to next. We just go for the Pro one. We say accord, we agree, and we say um, custom install. Okay? And then up here, very important, yeah, we're gonna do a clean install. So we're gonna delete this drive, yes. So we have a new 16 gigabyte drive left, 14.9, we've been screwed. 1.1 uh, gigabyte, you know, They're telling us it's 16 gigabyte, but in fact it's 14.9 gigabyte. You see, so you know if they sell if, if, if they sell 10 hard disks, they still make 10 gigs profit. Never mind about that. Okay, so we go to next. We hit this drive, and then we hit next, and then um, it will partition the drive. And then it will start copying the drives, uh, the files, you know, so it's really easy. So what did we do? We changed the boot, uh, the boot from the hard drive that's in the machine to this USB stick. Then we booted and uh, the thing started up and it was showing itself until we came to the installation part. We selected advanced custom installation. 
we deleted the drive because there was nothing on the drive if you have a big drive up there let's say you were running Windows 8 or maybe Windows 7 with many files on it and you still had let's say uh, 20 or 30 gigabytes left on the drive you could also select the drive you know and then it would install Windows 8 you know well not really beside uh, the operating system that's on it but it will copy all the files to a folder called old windows you know and uh, when the install is then finished you can go to that folder and grab all your little pictures and your videos and your music out of that folder and then with uh, with uh, system cleaning you can remove all the system files again so your machine will be cleaned up and you know you will have 20 gigabytes or even more space uh, left after cleaning out the old windows after removing your files in the first place of course because it was all about uh, rescuing these files because you don't want to install Windows 8.1 on a system and then lose all your files so what I was showing you just now, that was uh, the 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 hard the the well the the the, the easy way. Well, not the easy way, because the other way is also easy. What I just showed you was this uh, the the way how to do a clean install, completely clean. You know that there's nothing left on the drive. And. Um, in the other ways we would just select the drive where we have our windows on and hit next and then windows 8 would say and even windows 7 would say that it found a drive where uh, windows installation is installed on and that uh, installation will be copied to a folder called old windows and then you know you will not lose any file my friend so that's how to do it and uh, until this process is done I'll get back to you because I think I said more than enough already to you guys so um, let's see what will be the next step after this now after the reboot you just remove the stick and let the system boot so there you go she's booting now and um, soon we will have to insert some uh, some things and then the system will be installed after the next reboot oops are we still recording oh I'm sorry for that okay there we go oh we must insert boot media and it wants us to um, to of course select the drive remember the C drive because it's still um, it's still on the what do you call it on the USB drive I'm gonna remove the bias password because I'm gonna forget it one day I'm gonna be screwed okay boot boot device priority first hard drive yeah and then head this drives that's right add this drive oops SATA and then F10 and then OK so that's all and Windows 8 is installed 8.1 is installed people Oops. Idiotic, eh? This this mirror glass. I don't know why they make it like this. I don't like mirror glasses. They may be looking sophisticated, but man, look at that, man. I can zoom in in my own face. So now we need a product code, but of course we will skip this. You see that? And up here we can give it a name. We're gonna call it tab. Tablet. So now we go to let's give it a nice color, green or so. Oh yeah, this is nice. Next. Here we can log in. 
so let's lock in you can't read anything I'm typing man so it's all good no. Alright, so you know in the track for Bunda, yeah. And then automatic two programmers and apps automatic bywerken. Uh no, I don't want this, I don't want this. Next, I don't want this, I don't want this, next, I don't want, 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 next. So now it's making my account and now Windows 8.1 is installed. So you know, this was the whole thing. It's not so hard. Uh, what should I do here? No, I don't. Oh, I must log in with the account. You see that? Seven eight nine eight. You see, so this is already, this is already, you know, really pissing me off, cause um, now the thing will start up with my picture. It will show everything, who I am and where I live, and you know, if this tablet gets stolen, you know, then you know, I'm just screwed. You know, this is how it looks. Okay, people, it's installed as you can see. Uh, there it is. Of course, the apps won't work. I will have to do uh, a special uh, trick to let it work, and uh, that will be a registry trick. I will change uh, some reg registry setting, you know, and then uh, I'm gonna make a real nice system of this. Although I'm not, I, I don't, I'm not gonna keep this because, uh, yeah, you can only use this like with your real name. There's no privacy on this operating system or whatsoever or you should create a fake um, account at Microsoft, you know, but if you want to use your daily account, then you must know that Microsoft knows who you are. So, you know, if you do whatever on your PC that they don't like, they will get to you, you know, and they will send the police to, to get you. Thank you for watching. This was Puck. Wish you a very nice Sunday. Until my next video. Bye.